Well, thank you, Sam. And Sheridan, thank you for leading up this uh, Juneteenth Legacy Project. My name is John Cornyn. I have the great privilege of representing 29 million Texans in the United States Senate. And it's my delight to be here with you today. There is nowhere else I would rather be today than in Galveston, Texas, celebrating Juneteenth with you. We've all heard it before, but it bears repetition that Juneteenth has been a day celebrated for over a century here in Texas, thanks to the recently departed Al Edwards, who started this as a state holiday some 40 years ago. Uh, this is a celebration that many of us have been accustomed to over the years. But I am honored to join you this Juneteenth for the very first time that this is recognized is not just a celebration among our African-American community of that announcement on June 19th, 1865, but for all of America, the freedom in history. We have, um, we've enshrined equality in our laws from the very beginning. Of course, you know, we did not keep that promise for a large segment of our population. And today, thanks to things like the Voting Rights Act and in, um, in 1965, the opportunity for all Americans to participate in our government has never been better. But we know that while our laws are on the books, we still have work to do in the hearts and minds of many of our fellow countrymen. This legislation that was signed into law by President Biden on, on Thursday uh, managed to do something unique in Washington, D.C. these days, and that is to bring Republicans and Democrats together and unified behind this. So just as I believe that Juneteenth itself offers us a message of hope, so might the uh, cooperation of Democrats and Republicans in Congress to actually get something like this done. Hopefully, we'll, we will make this a habit. And I hope that the overall legislation to celebrate today. But I need to acknowledge my partner in this effort in the House of Representatives, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Sheila has been, uh, been a great partner to work with, not only on this of the day, but recognizing the importance of, of identifying and celebrating that emancipation trail that on the 19th of June, 1865, when former slaves made the trek from Galveston to Houston, we've now signed into law a bill to study that as potentially adding that to the roster of nationally recognized trails. There's only second one in America, right here in Texas. Well, this mural behind me is such a beautiful and powerful reminder of our history. We know our history was not perfect. President Biden talked to the, about the original sin of slavery, and I agree with him. But so many have given so much to bring us to where we are here today. And I think this mural provides and preserves many of the important stories that we need to remember about the pivotal moments in our fight for equality so that all Americans, and particularly the younger generation that's now growing up, so that they can understand at an early age the fight that has preceded them in their move toward equality. So I want to thank the Juneteenth Legacy Project for spearheading this incredible installation. And I want to tell Reginald Adams once again how much I appreciate the great work he and the team did to make this possible. Well done, Reginald. So I will start it and say that there is nowhere else on the planet that I would rather be than here with you today celebrating for the first time in American history the national holiday recognizing Juneteenth. God bless all of you.